What up, this is Willie Mac, Chocolate Thunder, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Willie Mac. Hello. How y'all doing? Awesome, how are you doing today? Tired, but it's <laughs> all right outside, so it's good so far. Hey, you're ready to go tonight as you are soon to face Son of Havoc in front of a sold out crowd in Toronto. How are you feeling about what's to come? It's good because it's my first time over here in Toronto area and my first time for Lucha Toronto and it feels good to debut on a sold out show. Well, you were 14 when you started to really get into wrestling. That was all because of one of the teachers that you had. So tell me a little bit more about that and how that kind of sparked this journey for you. Well, it was like I was at school and I always would talk about wrestling and he saw that I liked it a lot and said, all right, I'm going to search into it for you because you look like you will have fun, and sure enough, he searched it up on Yahoo at the time because Google wasn't around and found the wrestling school out in California, and I got directions on the bus and went there one of my days off and started training. And then I came back after I graduated high school because I was 14 on my art. I got to get my diploma. This was fun, but I got to get that first, and I'll see y'all in four years, and sure enough. I showed up the day after I graduated high school and started training, and a year later I ended up making my debut. Have you seen that teacher since, kind of just to let him know, hey, because of you, I know where I'm at, which is a pretty awesome spot. Yeah, he knows. He sees it. <laughs> he always hits me up every once in a while, like, Willie, you still doing your thing, and such and such. And Because him and X-Pac was good friends, and mm -hmm. they always stayed on touch, and X-Pac would call him and let him know how I'm doing, like if we ain't talked in a while. So that's kind of good to help. <laughs> You've been watching wrestling since before you were 14, since you were a little kid. So who were some of the people you used to watch on television when you were thinking, oh, this is so cool, I need to do this? Uh, the big ones like Hogan, uh, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior. My favorite ones was like Bret Hart. That was my favorite. Everybody else like Shawn Michaels for some <laughs> reason. I wasn't into that. It's a good choice for Canada today. So, yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, that's about some of them. And... Yeah, I saw them do their thing, and it looked like they was having fun, and I wanted to have fun along with them and travel and make other folks happy who like wrestling just like I do. I feel like something that you have that not every wrestler does is how you can do two completely different things. You can do something ridiculously powerful, and then one second later just shock people with something aerial. So is that something when you watch the crowd's reactions, you think, okay, that was pretty neat, because you're surprising people constantly. Yeah, sometimes I just go out there to try to have fun and make believers out of non-believers if you take it that way because I was training Lucha Libre style and all those little dudes was running around me so I had to find a way to keep up with them somehow so yeah I had to adapt and that's how my style came about. How long did it take you to adapt to that like being around that so often was it long or no? No it just no. was quick enough because I just I just saw him do it I'm like all right cool I could do that or just like improve some of my stuff and mix it in with theirs and came up with my own little style that people seem to like for some reason. Well, I really like your Instagram page because it's kind of like a who's who of wrestling. It's yep. less self-promoting and more so you, hey, I just met so-and-so or I just met another guy that I dig. So for you, do you still kind of get that shock when you meet the people that you admire? Because I know for some people they don't get it as much, so does it hit you still? Yeah, because it's like these dudes I watched on TV and it was like, Man, I used to watch you on TV when I was like this big and I'm meeting you in person or wrestling and you are on the same show as a Mr. Trip. Because it's like no matter if you're in the business, you're still a fan of wrestling and meeting old school cats like that, it like makes you happy and it makes you even more happy when they know exactly who you are and say that they're a fan of your work themselves. Who's somebody you'd still love to get that photo with, that capture that you've yet to? Oh, Brett. Okay. So that was pretty easy. Yeah. You have a shirt that's the Wu Mac, which is a little tribute to Wu Tang Clan. Yeah. So is that a group that you're a fan of, and that's why it made sense to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a, f a fan actually made it for me and came up with the concept, and I just said, all right, I'll use it if y'all want me to. And sure enough, it's up there on ProWrestlingTees.com. <laughs> pick them up. I got like eight shirt designs, so yeah, go to my store out there and pick it up. Yeah, there's some really cool ones on there aside from that one as well. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of them. It's just like, it's hard to bring them over because you got to check a bag and sometimes dudes don't want to check all their crap, so I'll be like, just go to my store online and get it there and they'll ship it to your house easy. <laughs> Which other bands do you dig listening to, whether getting ready for a match when training? Eh, Anything's good. I just like 
something to get you in that place because like you get to a show it's hectic you hear everybody going crazy and screaming and yelling and i'm just trying to find something to like phase it out most of the times i don't listen to music i just play video games or i listen to like icp or something and like a lot of hip-hop dmx because dmx will pump anybody up <laughs> and uh sometimes system of a down if i'm feeling right they're a really good go-to they are yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I was interviewing Shane Taylor as well, and he said his go-to is DMX. I'm like, that can get anybody riled up. Yes, just his voice <laughs> and the beats, and you can't help but just, if you ain't never heard him before, you'll be like, man, that's, that's a good a song. Good, yeah. <laughs> if you could have one person write a theme entrance for you, who would that be? Hmm. Uh, probably either The Game or Little Flip. Because I know Lil Flip ain't really doing too much, but that'll be sweet if they could put together a theme song for me. And if they're hearing this right now, hey, try to make a <laughs> Willie Mac theme for me, please. You had mentioned video games before. So do you have a go-to game or console? Oh, yeah, PlayStation 4, and my game is Overwatch. Okay. I've heard a lot about that, but haven't gotten into it yet. You need to. It just came <laughs> up on a year anniversary. It, just, it came out May 23rd. Okay. last year. I, I like how you know that. It's pretty good. Yeah, because they, they have an event going right now. It's like a week or two week long event to like, you could get like new skins for your characters okay. and weapons and upgrades and it's like so you're pretty to into celebrate this. the year. Yeah. <laughs> have you beat it yet? It's actually not a beaten thing. It's, okay. a, it's a multiplayer thing, so it'll keep going and going and going. Awesome. Yep, and it's by Blizzard, so Blizzard know what they're doing. If y'all don't know what Blizzard is, they the ones who made World of Warcraft and Spacecraft and all that other crazy stuff. Hearthstone. Let's wrap things up. Is there anything you would like to leave with your fans who will be viewing? Just any parting words? Well, I've been here doing wrestling for 11 years, and hopefully I can keep going more with y'all's support because without y'all, there wouldn't be me. So, uh, yeah, everything I do, I got to make sure I put it out there something that the fans will like. Hit me up on Facebook at Willie Mac, Twitter, Willie underscore Mac, Instagram is the same thing. I got a like page now on Facebook because I got too many friends, they said, so I had to make that as Willie Mac official. And uh, you can find me on PlayStation Network, Willie underscore Mac 1. So, yeah, if you want to play a couple games, hit me up on there. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And keep your eyes glued to my page because I always post up wherever I'm going to be at, every city, state, and country. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me on. It's my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time. Yeah.